We've left our one night stopover at the Lodge certified location in Staffordshire and we're now hitting the road heading towards Wales. Ah, Easter weekend on the motorway. Well, hello again everybody. We're on our way to the Dulas Med... I think it's Dulas? Dulas. Dulas Meadow Caravan and Motorhome Club certified location on Anglesey. If only um, you could say it. If only I could say it, yes. Uh, it's much better weather today the sun's been out we've had a fairly good run the traffic is quite sticky in parts but uh, we seem to be managing to stay moving we've just stopped off at the services and we're now heading off on the second part of our journey it should take us about an hour and a half to get there from here i think Well, we're off the motorway now, but the traffic is still pretty heavy. I can see the sea! Oh dear, starting to uh, rain a bit again now. Ah, we're getting close now. We're crossing the Menai Bridge over onto Anglesey. arrived at the Dulas Meadow Camping and Caravanning Club CS it is and uh, it looks absolutely lovely uh, the weather is a little bit shocking at the moment it's been raining quite hard easing off a little bit now uh, got the van hooked up to the power filled up the water tanks but uh, I think I'm gonna wait until it's a bit drier before I show you around the site well, the rain's eased off, uh, but there is still a little bit of wind. But uh, let's have a quick look around the site and see what's here. We're on one of these bottom pitches. The grass is very waterlogged, so they're trying to avoid anyone going on the grass if they can. So you've got this main camping field here. You can have tents and stuff here, but uh, maybe not at the moment. There is electric hookup as well for your tent if you need it. Got a nice little toilet block and a dishwashing point. And this is a fantastic little social space. Uh, very handy if you were tent camping, I think. You can sit in here, admire the view. Uh, you can do some washing up. You can uh, microwave stuff. And there's a nice fire pit and outdoor seating area for socializing. Lovely. What a fantastic spot. Chaz and Liz are joining us, but they've not arrived yet. I'm not sure quite where they are. Well, it's a fair bit later in the evening and Chaz and Liz and Clarence have arrived. I think they've had quite a journey. Well, Saturday morning and the sun's out. Let's get the bikes off the carrier. So I think the plan this morning is to do a little bit of a recce on the bikes just to see what the parking area of the beach is like. The beach is about two and a half mile walk away 
And uh, just in case people don't fancy walking all the way there and all the way back, we're gonna see if it might be possible to take one of the motorhomes down there. Fortunately, the weather has brightened up somewhat since yesterday. And Nikki and I are both enjoying being back on our e-bikes. Especially on these quiet little country roads. I can see the sea again. Right, well, we've left the bikes because uh, the track's got a little bit rough down to the first little beach we're going to check out. There's a little bit of a muddy footpath, but uh, very beautiful. There we go. This is Traeth Eora Beach. I think that's how you say it. And uh, Nikki can't wait to get down there. But that was the wrong way. This is, in fact, the way down to the beach. There you go. What an absolutely gorgeous beach. And we have it more or less to ourselves. Just one other fella walking his dog. Yep, I am absolutely loving this beach. And it's quite a refreshing paddle. My feet have gone a little bit numb. Stones from my stone pictures and uh, a few shells, but I can't find any seagulls still. No, perhaps nobody's been drinking beer on the beach. Where are we again? We are on Anglesey. And we're on the beach? We are. And people bring picnics? I guess so, yeah. So you would expect a little bit of glass, although perhaps people are much better behaved and don't smash their bottles on the beach. Well, hopefully that, that is the case. But um, not only that, I was looking on one of the um, forums the other day and a lady got, um, you remember when they used to have sort of pies and things like that, actually found a pottery little person that you put inside a pie to keep the pastry. Oh, I, yeah. Maybe fine. Yeah, Sweeney Todd got done for that, didn't he, putting people in pies? Uh, wasn't going along that line, but yeah, I can see what you meant. Well, that was an absolutely lovely beach, but there's certainly nowhere down here to park the motorhome. So we're going to go and have a look at the nearby beach of Traeth Ligui. I think it is, uh, where I believe there is a car park. And Treas Ligwe Beach is just a very short ride away as it's literally the next beach down the coast. And it does have a car park you can get your motor home in. Right, slight change of plan. We're not going to take the van down the beach. Liz is going to come down with us on her bike and Chaz is going to stay here because Clarence's leg is still a bit poorly. So, yeah back down at the beach we go on the bikes again. And this time we're going to have a bit more of a look at Traeth Ligui Beach. Now if you did bring your motor home down to the car park on the west side of the beach where we're approaching here you would have to negotiate this very narrow road. Uh, better to come in really from the east side uh, where there is a much better road and bigger car park. Well, there we go. We're back at Traeth Ligui Beach. A little bit busier, this beach. We're having a good old hunt for some sea glass for Nikki, but just not finding any at all. There is a little cafe up there. So 
there you go, a couple of very nice beaches close to our campsite at Dulas Meadow. Join us in our next video where we continue our explorations on the Isle of Anglesey.